If you look in my coffee pickers basket, you can see most of the cherry in here ranges from ripe to overripe. It's getting late in the season and I'm out here trying to remove as many of the ripe and overripe cherry from the trees that I can. It brings up an interesting question here. What constitutes a pickable coffee cherry? So if you have your own plant, let's say, and you're wondering what is acceptable to pick and what is not. Well, let's look. First of all, these green ones here, yeah, you gotta leave them, they're no good. The, anything red, pretty much, you're gonna be able to pick. And after red, the berries start turning purple, like over here. These are getting overripe. These are still good to pick though. Remember, we're after the seed inside, not the flesh on the outside. So these are still pickable. And if you wait even longer, they'll start shriveling up on you, like this one here. This is shriveling up to, this is a coffee version of a prune. It's uh, almost dried out. So can you pick this? Well, the key test here is feel it and see if it's soft. It still feels soft. And that tells me that when it goes to the mill, the mill can take the skin off the outside. That's the most important part. The mill is going to reject something that they can't use. So this one, even though it's almost completely shriveled up, this raisin here actually you can pick. So that goes in the basket. And you can see there's other raisins in there. Soft raisins, I call them. If you come over here, though, you see this one here? This is also a raisin, but it's too late. This one is as hard as a rock. And there's nothing you can really do with it. At least not for the mill. You could, uh, so we're going to have to reject this one. You could um, take a borderline coffee cherry though, one that is starting to get hard. It might be too hard for the mill and if you have your, if you're making your own coffee at home, maybe you have your own uh, coffee house plant or something, you can take those hard ones and soak them in water and peel them by hand. And the, the, the seed inside is still good. They call it a coffee bean, it's actually a seed. So just looking right here, this one's okay because it's still slightly soft. This one on the other hand is no good. He's hard as a rock. But I can tell there's still a good bean inside. So this this bean, uh, if you are a home coffee producer and you had the time to put into it, you could soak this bean in water and peel it by hand. And it have it would have a good bean inside. But for uh, per commercial production, these are, these will get rejected. Sometimes you'll run into this. These are red and they look good, but they also look dried out. Like they didn't ripen properly. Sometimes you'll, you'll find a, a branch with several of these on it. Here and here. So they look actually like a ripe fruit. But you look closer and, and, and they didn't seem to ripen correctly. They're a little bit dried. And when you run into these, see this group, this group, and this group, they're usually in bunches like this. You can just leave them all because they're not worth picking. Again, if you had the time to, to peel them by hand, maybe, but they're just too hard. So if you look at one of these, you realize this is not worth picking. It might have a good seed inside, but most coffee pickers are going to avoid it. So if you look what's in my basket here, it's pretty much ripe, overripe to semi-raisin. Here's one that has probably been scraped by or, or gnawed on by a bird. This is a good bean. Because the, it looks like the, the, the animal, the critter that, that did this, 
left the bean alone. They were just interested in the skin on the outside. And it's soft. This will go right through the mill. So this is actually a good bean also. So how about this one? I'll pick this one off. He's starting to turn black. That is a good bean. That's what a good bean looks like because he's still soft. Anyway, that's how to tell which beans to pick and which beans are rejects or which ones to leave.